Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So, when it comes to variegation in bromeliads, is being stable a fable? So you know what? The sun is shining. The island breeze is blowing. It's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun and let's talk about instability. So what we're going to talk about today is variability in bromeliad color when it has to do with variegation, the white in the plant, and how they aren't always all that stable. So I'm going to tell you something about variegation, and I don't want you to get me wrong. I love it when plants look like this, don't you? And I have lots of variegated plants, not just bromeliads. I've got aeroids of all shapes and sizes here at the Tangle, and a lot of them have a lot of white in the leaves. But I'm going to tell you something. From a strictly horticultural standpoint, any variegated plant is, by definition, unhealthy. But let's remember that a plant is green for a reason, and it's the chlorophyll combined with sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide that makes food for the plant. So if there is less green, by definition, the plant is less healthy. Why? Because this plant right here can make much more food than this plant, which can make much more food for itself than this plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Raphael right here. And now this one doesn't really have the color that I was hoping for. I had it up here on the plant deck and uh, it lost some of its color, but you can get an idea. Now I call this marginated because the variegation is on the margins of the leaf. There are some people who call any white in a leaf a variegated pattern and I'll tell you what that's just okay but today we're going to call this marginated now this is a neo regelia it's a hybrid called Raphael and again this will get to be very very red um, again this has been in the shade and uh, if you have taken a look at one of the other videos that explains why it lost some of the color so let's say that you have a Raphael and it looks just like this and it pops and out of one side where it pops all of a sudden you get a pup that looks like this. Now take a look at the increased amount of white. Now that is a lack of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what the plant uses in order to produce food for itself. So I'm going to put the two together. And I'm going to show you how it goes from this to this and take a look you can clearly see that there's a big difference now sometimes it gets to be even more pronounced and let's say this mutation here has a pop and look this is almost all white now here's a close-up of Raphael and this is the normal plant and then you come over here and as you can see this plant has mutated even more and one side of the meristem is producing leaves that have chlorophyll and the other side of the meristem has a mutation where the chlorophyll if not totally lacking is kind of getting there and this is what a pup would look like if it came out of the Raphael that I just showed you now take a look this is pretty interesting even this plant is showing even though it's really 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 white and shows a lack of chlorophyll one side of the plant has more of that mutation more of that diminishment of chlorophyll than the other side does so I just showed you Raphael. I'm going to show you another plant that I'm fond of. It's called Neo Regilia Sheba. And you can see that this has a fairly stable marginated pattern. Um, I'm going to try and put this up there and you can see the pup right here. And the pup 
is about the same as the adult because the meristem in this plant right here is stable, at least stable in that um, the margination is all the way around the meristem. But then one day, out of nowhere, it puts out a pup and that pup starts looking like this. Now take a look, this one already has a pup. Again, this is Neo Regilia Sheba. And if you take a look, right here is the pup. And take a look at the pup. It is white as well. And it is also more white because it is on the wider side of the meristem where that mutation is. And then it will start to look like this. So I'm going to try and give you a close-up and show you that line of demarcation where it's more green and less green in the plant. So this is a close-up of Neorigilia Sheba and you can see that yes it does have a marginated pattern, it does have that beautiful white edge on the leaf, but it looks to be pretty stable doesn't it? Now I think this illustrates perfectly what I was just talking about. If you take a look, if you look at the right hand side of the plant, see where it's getting to be more and more white, and take a look at the left hand side and you can see that that is more green. So, okay, here's what it's showing, that right here, this side of the plant, this side of the plant has a mutation in the meristem that involves a lack of chlorophyll. So okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the variability in variegation in bromeliads. How they can go from this all the way to this. So you know what, no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing. Have some fun. Thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.